Greetings fellow watch comrades and welcome to this special extended edition of episode 17 on the Strella watches. I'm Craig Hester, the Watch Comrade, and as always, we appreciate you joining us. The images you're looking at here are of Alexei Leonov, the first human to ever walk in space. And as many of you are already aware of, he was wearing at the time a Polyot Strela 3017 chronograph built in the first Moscow watch factory. Uh, the watch that's on the spindle there is actually, and here you're seeing it, is actually a newer version that was built in the mid-2000s that we've now got available in new old stock, built by the Volmax company. Now, it is not strictly speaking a Volmax watch. It was simply produced by Volmax at the first Moscow watch factory. We have four versions of this watch now available. Three will be featured in this video um, that we've picked up since we did the first episode on the Strela chronographs. This one here is very similar to the earliest versions of the Strela, which were simpler, almost more like dress watches, and then they got progressively more militaristic and more sporty going forward. The one you're looking at on the left is the one, as I was mentioning, from the mid-2000s. The one on the right is the most recent edition built by Volmax under the Stermansky brand. So it is a Volmax watch. That is a 44 millimeter, and you're seeing it compared to the 40 millimeter of the new old stock versions that we now have available. Here is a new feature we're using here where we're showing on the actual caliper. Um, the size of the watch, 44 millimeters on the new Strela and 40 millimeters on the new old stock. Here's a couple of wrist shots. You can see that this is, first of all, there's no super luminova on this watch. Um, this is in a lot of ways a more dressy feel and look to it. Um, very clean, uh, simple lines, um, reflective of the earliest Strelas. Now, we also have a watch that is extremely similar to the watch worn by Gubarov uh, into space in the 1970s. It is the black version. Now, you'll notice throughout that wherever you see the term Seconda on the original version, it has been replaced with Strela in the new old stock version or the new version in the Latin. Uh, that is because Seconda is actually still an ongoing watch brand, albeit not a Russian watch brand. So it has been replaced in the Latin with Strela so as not to have any trademark infringement. Strela, which means arrow in Russian, and here you're comparing the original, the one on the left is the, is the original Seconda um, that was worn very similar to the one worn by Gubarov. And then on the right is the one that's available now, which is my personal favorite. Well, actually the two black ones, the, the most recent one by Stramansky and this one. I just love both of those with the paddle hands. And here's the most recent. Now, Strela, which means arrow in Russian, is one of the most coveted watches in the world of Russian horology. It was introduced in 1959. The 3017 Strela became a legend in Soviet space history when worn on the wrists of Alexei Leonov in the first spacewalk in 1965. The original Strelas featured the chronograph with a 45 minute, minute counter as opposed to the 30 minute counter on the current 3133, and it did not have a date function. Here we're showing the size comparison of the new old stock version, which is available at RussiaToAll.com versus my personal original, which is 36 millimeters. Uh, the original Strelas were built to military specs and they were not available to the public. And then it was years later that they were released. Now, the 3133 took over for the 3017 chronograph um, in the late 70s, early 80s. Um, and then the date function was added and it went from a column wheel driven chronograph to a cam driven chronograph. There you can you see the paddle hands on the black Strela. Um, I just love the look of this. This to me is the quint quintessential militar military space all of those things combined in this just beautiful example of Russian timekeeping. Um, there's a pretty big price difference between the new old stock versions you're looking at here and the most recent um, Stramansky Strelas, and some people ask why so much difference for 400 and something versus uh, well into the 700 range. Well, this one has a mineral crystal. It is a smaller case. It is not as complicated of a case. Uh, the movement isn't decorated as opposed to the newer models, which are larger, 44 millimeter cases. They, there's a quick shot of the loom. Um, it is so difficult to shoot loom for those of you who have ever tried to do this. Um, it, the, the newest versions have sapphire crystal front and back. They are larger. They have more, uh, they have 
highly decorated movements and so forth. This also comes in a white version if you want a more stark dial. Um, and you, it's the same look. Basically, it's exactly the same watch as the black, just comes with the white dial. So you still get that historical look and feel, but if you prefer a white dial over the black. Again, my personal favorite is the black. It's whatever you happen to, to prefer. Here it is on a wrist shot, both the white and the black. Um, just giving you a feel of how it looks on the wrist. This is about a 40 millimeter watch. So this is not a real big oversized watch like is popular today. So if you want something that's gonna be a little more understated and not quite screaming off your wrist like some of the more recent ones, these new old stock versions are a really good way to go. Um, and I like the way they, they feel because they wear on the wrist easily. It's a very simple case. I don't know what it is. I was talking to some a customer today, uh, a collector today, about these watches. And there's just something about the Strela case and the Strela dials that really just does it for me. It, it, it creates such an amazingly cool look. I think it's that whole retro, yet it still looks technologically advanced and more modern. Here again, you're seeing Alexei Leonov in more footage from the time that he went into space in 1965. You might find it interesting to know, too, that he commanded the Apollo Soyuz mission in the 70s, uh, the first joint U.S.-Soviet um, mission to ever be in space. And um, this is just some footage of the Soyuz um, of, of the rocket taking off and uh, Lexi's uh, history in space, um, obviously superimposed with images of the Strela watches. That's the beige Strela, which has by far been the most popular, actually, even though I, I love the black, that beige has been hugely popular, I think because it is so reminiscent of the early versions of the Strela. And there it is side by side with the more silverish dial of the new old stock uh, mid 2000s version both have exhibition case back though um, and they both are very true to the original dials and case design of the original strellas from the 60s and 70s and the other one you're i think coming up you're going to see a little bit more of the black version as well so we have four versions one's not featured here of the new old stock strellas that volmax produced um, that are available at russia to all.com along with the beige and black and two other more dressy versions um, so there's a number of strellas available to suit almost any taste right now at russia to all.com with as i understand it even some new versions coming out in the next few months so Hope you enjoyed this additional segment on the Volmax Poyot Russian First Moscow Watch Factory Strellas. And I'm Craig Hester, the Watch Comrade. And as always, keep watching.